Hey, this is Mirgloff Builds, and this is an update uh, video just on the uh, for the town of Agrippa. It's going to be the only uh, video update as the town is complete, and well, with a few exceptions, uh, with uh, some places I used uh, cobblestone stairs. When uh, 1.3 comes out, I'll switch that out for uh, sandstone stairs. But here's a good view of the town from above. And you can, as you can see, all the t all the buildings are kind of uh, shack-like and have flat roofs. Uh, for the next town, which uh, is going to be a city, the largest city of the sand democracy, uh, I intend to actually add some flair to the roofs. Uh, various uh, of various designs, sort of like domes or spires, or like uh, sort of Mayan pyramid-shaped uh, trapezoid structures, just to uh, get rid of that uh, flat look, as well as uh, do some stuff to change the exterior so everything isn't a box. So you guys can look forward to. Uh, much, much, uh, I suppose, snazzier architecture. And we'll take a look at all the buildings I've built in the last ten episodes. This being one of them, this is the uh, the barracks for the town guards. And there's armor and weapons for them, as well as food. Then there's some residential structures throughout here. We'll just take a quick peek on this two-story one. The other one is fair, pretty much identical, with slight variation to uh, where the chairs are placed. And these uh, houses, the first just one singular floor houses, are all the same as that, pretty much. Like those there. Those are uh, not the same exact size, but uh, similar regardless. Over here is the... Uh, blacksmith mercer where tools are made and forged and here's where they meet to make decisions within their group amongst their members this is the trade mercer similar to the other mercers they uh, are formed like a guild and the trade mercer is responsible for uh, trade with other towns and cities, which would be other sand democracy towns, as the sand people are not, they're pretty hostile towards uh, outside influences, and inside there's an empty chest. If they had, if this town had any gold, the gold would be, the gold ingot would be placed in that chest. And we're going to take a look at one of these uh, two uh, basement level houses. Just real quick, because I need to sleep to make it day. And basically all of these basement level houses are like this one here. So for I think this one might be actually a little bit shallow as I needed to, if didn't dig it down quite deep enough. And this is sort of like a, uh, a mat, sort of Japanese style, where you, they would sit at people of this housing. Uh, speaking of the housing situation, because of uh, Third World, the world in which all this uh, takes place, is sort of like an afterlife. So there is no procreation in the sense that people can't have children. So people who live in the same house, specifically in the sand democracy, aren't necessarily uh, families. They could be just uh, sort of like a roommate situation. Maybe some of them are, in a, I suppose, in a relationship with each other, but there isn't any children, simply because it is the afterlife. When someone dies in third world, they just uh, reincarnate somewhere else, very far away from where they died. And... These are just more of houses the same. Over here is the fisherman's mercer. There's some fish in a fishing rod that's been captured, and they just fish off these docks here. 
And here's the smokehouse where the fish is smoked. The primary uh, trade of the town of Agrippa is for uh, fish. So the largest mercer is the fisherman's mercer. And we'll take a quick look. That's uh, my sub general supplies shack where uh, I keep all ma the materials that I used for building as well as tools and other assortments. This is the government mercer here. This is where uh, the bureaucratic decisions are made to make sure all the other mercers are running efficiently. And this is the, uh, the town meeting hall itself where the uh, town-wide votes are held. And uh, if also when they're uh, voting for nationwide ballots, the whole town will meet here, cast their votes, and then have a uh, sub-vote to decide who would represent the town's decision to the, uh, the national meeting. And it's kind of a convoluted structure, but that's why uh, pure democracies aren't very efficient on a large scale. Here's the miners, miners Mercer. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than it should be, but uh, honestly, I was just trying to fill this space over here. This is where resources would be kept, and there's cobblestone over here, and some iron and iron ore. I could show uh, the, these mines over here, but they're not very large at all. They're not expanse. Just a bit of uh, mining I did at the start to get some cobblestone. And this is the gym where uh, the people of Agrippa uh, physically exercise as well as the, uh, the soldiers to stay in fit and stay in uh, combat shape because the primary, the primary attitude of the sand people is that... Uh, in order to survive, everyone needs to be tough, sort of like uh, Sparta of the uh, classical Greek people. Uh, it's very military oriented, simply because the world, the the world that is third world, is a very dangerous place with monsters such as creepers and skeletons and such. Let's see, and here's the farmer's mercer, uh, agriculture or the agricultural mercer, and there isn't very much agricultural stuff going on in uh, Agrippa, just enough to uh, support the town itself, but not nothing more. Then here's the town wall, which was the last thing I built in Agrippa. It sort of runs around the... Hmm, is that north? It's west. Yeah, the north border of the town. While geographically, or yeah, geographically, the ocean there blocks the south, and these mountains here block the west. While the uh, the east is slightly protected by the wall. And here's Dark Jet's memorial. Dark Jet being a uh, subscriber and also a uh, fictional uh, hero of the uh, town of Agrippa. And here you can see that uh, Endermen have been griefing. That is very annoying. I think I need to put more torches in here, actually, so that the Endermen don't spawn. Or they're just teleporting in there. And then I have one last uh, structure, and that's a, also a monument to a subscriber, which would be Chad I Tech. And this is Chad I Tech's tower of defense doesn't really serve necessarily a practical purpose although you could say that if the town were under siege this would be the last line of defense simply because it's the, uh, the strongest and most uh, defendable structure around Gr Agrippa and that, uh, that nether portal is only temporary as soon as I'm done recording this I'm going to tear it down because I did at one point need to uh, get uh, netherrack, although in the end it didn't end up using that netherrack. And this wasn't a structure so much, and I didn't record it, but 
There is a uh, quarry over there. Also, you can see the uh, the effects of uh, the lumber being cut down, which I uh, accumulatively all the lumber that I used for this town was from the forest that was right there. And oh god, I need to fix that as well. That was there was some creeper damage there, but. That is uh, the town of Agrippa in a nutshell. And the next step for me is the new city. Not sure what I'm going to name it. Uh, if any of you guys have any ideas of a uh, name, I'm all ears. I don't mind uh, having you guys decide make decide a name as long as it's something cool. And it's probably going to take me probably a day just to find a desert large enough for the the uh, the city and after that it's going to take me a while to get the uh, general basic supplies that I'm going to need to build up that city so it could be a week week and a half before uh, I get to the point where I can start uh, recording myself building structures so there will be approximately that length of time of uh, without any new videos but it's not going to be very long at all I don't think it'll be noticeable and uh, thanks for watching there will be more videos to come and see you later